flexible. How about the other expression, positive behavior? What does that mean? You're not alone in the world. Don't lose your temper. You need to interact. What does that mean to be, you know, positive behavior? Well, you need to be able to accept. You know, there are different kinds of personalities in the classroom, so you need to accept them all, start to understand them, and try to find the best way to help them. Agree to disagree. Uh-huh. Agree to disagree. Maybe be a role model in the moment when you say positive behavior, like inviting other people to do the right thing. And to have a, to have a good attitude. Do you agree? Absolutely. I mean, do you agree that sometimes you know, there are lots of negative situations that happen in, in, our, in our classroom. Sometimes technology fails. You know, just what happened to me, you know, a few minutes ago. I mean, this morning I was working just fine with my computer, and then right now, they don't want to work. So, uh, we need to, to, to have a positive attitude towards problems, right? Can you imagine if, if, uh, if because we have problems, all kinds of, I mean, it could be personal, it could be, uh, uh, work-related problems, who knows, then we're going to go, uh, oh no, I don't know, I don't want to go to school, or I don't want to go to work, or something. No, <laughs> it's really I mean, it's very common that we feel that way. We need to overcome that situation, and come to work, and and and, uh, and be optimistic, and, and, and do our best. Do you hear it? I want to go, the other kids are me, and you're the teacher. And you're the teacher, yes. <laughs> yes. There's a nice cartoon about that. <laughs> okay, so I think we are doing okay. So that is that's what what is considered psychosocial competence. So you see, your definitions or your concepts were all correct. Okay, then we have this. I'm gonna let you read. I don't like to read when, when you can read yourself. So go ahead. We learn those things. 
throughout, you know, for our life, right? Yep. And many times, parents have no idea, or even teachers don't have a clue of how this works and how to uh, how to share those skills or train their children in those skills. Very. So we teachers are the ones that have to.